Hello, this is Dr. Amadari, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie the instrument tie with your left hand. So to start, we've got our incision pointing away from us, and we've got the needle attached to our purple thread. You're going to pick up your instrument, and the proper way to hold this is with your thumb and your ring finger. You can use your pointer finger near the top to give you a little bit more control. You're going to grab your needle, and we're going to thread from left to right. When you pull this through, you want to pull your thread most of the way through, just leaving yourself a short tail on the left side to work with. And you're going to hold the long side with your right hand. To start with all of these knots, you're going to put your instrument right on top of the incision. You're going to take the longer end, and you're going to loop it twice around the needle driver. Next, you're going to grab the free end as close to the tip as you can. This makes it easier to pull through the loops you just created. I'm using thick string so you can see what's going on, so I'm just going to work this through with my fingers. And there we go. We've got our first overhand knot. When we pull this tight, you always pull the short end to the opposite direction from where you picked it up. I grabbed it on the left. To pull it tight, I'm going to cross my hands and pull it to the right side. And there's our first knot. To tie the next knot, again we start with our needle driver right on top of the incision. This time, we're only going to loop once. From here on out, we only use one loop. It's only that first knot is when we do the two loops. So we loop it once, same thing, grab it as close to the tip as possible, pull it through, and to tighten it, pull it in the opposite direction. So there we go. We've got our first square knot. So with the instrument tie, essentially you're bouncing your hands back and forth, looping it once around the instrument, grabbing the short end, and pulling it in the opposite direction. So let's do this one more time. Lay it right on top, loop it once, grab the free end, and pull it through, tighten by pulling it in the opposite direction. Lay it on top, loop it once, grab the free end, tighten it by pulling in the opposite direction. And there we go, we've got a second square knot. If you've seen my other videos, you know how much I hate crossing my hands. So with the instrument tie, to avoid doing this, instead of having your strings come out to the left and right, you can torque it. And I'll show you what this means. When we put our instrument parallel to the incision, we can still loop this around. We're still going to grab the free end, and we're still going to pull it to the opposite direction. This time we grabbed it in the top left, so when we tighten it, we're going to pull it to the bottom right. So instead of crossing our hands now, we're almost going up and down. Same thing for the last knot. Lay it parallel, loop it once, grab the free end, as close as you can to the tip. There we go. Pull it through, back to the top left. And we've still got square knots. That's a little bit harder to see with just the white string, but these are all square knots. So that's it. That is the instrument tie for lefties. Um, this is a quick knot, it's very easy, and as you can see, you can tie it with a very short amount of thread. This allows you to tie many knots with the same piece of suture and save some money in the process. So keep practicing this, you're going to use this a lot in the OR. Uh, thanks for tuning in and good luck. And to sign off, um, I'm going to say goodbye in the same way that camels greet one another, by blowing air in each other's faces. <laughs>